hello guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to a new video and today i'm going to show you all the details of the new volkswagen tuareg r now this is the top of the line version and this time uh, the tuareg r is a plug-in hybrid so we have a combination of the petrol and electric motor beneath uh, this so let's start exploring the car and on the front you will notice the very muscular appearance uh, so we have the matrix leds and the iq matrix as they call them and we also have the black package which means this massive grille is in gloss black as well as the other elements on the car we also have the new logo for the r models and the r line models uh, once again i already mentioned that in one of my previous videos i wasn't a huge fan of that when it was introduced but now i think it looks very nice kind of minimalistic and pretty cool indeed uh, these are the air inlets you have the gloss black elements once again of course sensors are here and underneath you will also notice the gloss black uh, trim down there and overall look at this very muscular very you know aggressive styling uh, as expected from top of the line model and this is the side profile of this massive SUV 4 meters 88 is the length of the car you will also notice this huge 22 inch wheels I will actually show you uh, them on the rear we have the R badge and we have a beautiful color uh, the name of this color is Secura Beige Metallic and it's really a nice color tell me in the comments what are your thoughts I love the fact that we have the black elements uh, they go very well with this color uh, let me show you this roof rails they are in satin finish we have the tinted windows once again gloss black details on the side this is where you would charge your car so on the other side you have the classic fuel cap and the wheels yeah let me show you them here so 20 inch as standard 22 inch uh, as an option here this is the dimension of the tires very good uh, tire walls so you don't scratch the wheels if you you know touch the curb nice r badge here and overall this looks pretty nice indeed let me show you the rear of the car so here it is let's try and turn on the lights and actually unlock it so you will see uh, the dynamic indicators i will also do an overlay so that you see how this looks with the lights on and yeah this is the view we have the led lights that are a bit darker compared to the standard tuareg you also have this r badge in the middle underneath the volkswagen badge and of course the e hybrid lettering so that everyone knows that it's a hybrid but look at this this is real and also the other one is real as well we have a nice gloss black diffuser and look at this light going all the way uh, this is i believe not illuminated this is just the reflector but it does look pretty nice indeed it is now time to show you the trunk in order to do that we will just press this and we have an electronic tailgate and here is where you're greeted with 665 liters of storage space you also have some cool features such as this so the hooks for your shopping bags led lights uh look how this goes all the way up when you open the trunk so when you close it it will be here but goes up so that you have more practicality uh, this is the 12 volt power outlet with nice led light uh, this is where you would adjust the air suspension so if you do this the car will lower itself so that you can uh, you know put your luggage more easily here is the bag where you have the uh, cables of course for the charging i also need to mention that you can uh, just fold the seats by uh, pulling this and let's check out this so tire repair kit as well as the dyne audio um, subwoofer so this car has the optional sound system that's why we have it here and in order to close the trunk you just need to press this now you will also notice the rear view camera and now that we saw the exterior time for interior it is now time to step inside this car and here we are greeted with the beautiful interior and very nice materials so this is all soft touch we have a leather part here 
gloss black finish here and underneath you have the ambient light number one and number two huge uh, door pocket here uh, divided into two sections so you can fit a large bottle uh, here is where you open the trunk and the fuel cap R line badge or should I say R badge since this is the real R model Ergo Comfort seats, lumbar support is here and they are very, very comfortable. You have a nice R badge here as well and the new steering wheel with the R badge as well. And let me show you the details from driver's perspective. This is the view from driver's perspective. You start the car by pressing the start engine button. I will just give contact now so that we have the screens on and look at this so these are the screens you have the 12 inch digital cockpit and this is the most impressive part uh, so this is the 15 inch uh, touch screen and together they form the as uh, Volkswagen called them the Innovision cockpit so they almost look like they are connected you see here and uh, this is very impressive especially in the night this will be uh, really you know something else Moving on, the materials are, of course, great. This is all soft touch. Then we have this air vent, uh, which looks like uh, it's connected to the other one. Of course, here in the middle, we don't have the air blowers. Uh, you adjust them by uh, changing and uh, scrolling this. Ambient lights, of course, something that Volkswagen does very well. Let me show you uh, this middle section here. So uh, you have a phone box, so wireless charger for your phone, 12 volt power outlet and USB-C port. And you can also uh, do this and you have the gloss black finish. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that, but it is what it is. Uh, we have the air vents underneath this uh, home screen. And once again, I do need to mention uh, this pattern, which is uh, very lovely. The gear lever for the automatic transmission is still the classic one so we don't have the small one. Here are the cup holders. Uh, they are adjustable as you see here but there is no roller so they will be visible all the time. Uh, this is the scroller for the volume. Quite useful if you ask me. The hazard lights are here then the electronic parking brake and the auto hold function. And this button here is to change your driving mode. You can actually see which mode you are in if you know what these symbols are. But of course, uh, you will see them here as well. So the normal mode, you have the sport mode, individual, off-road, snow, and also eco, as well as the comfort mode. Uh, you can also adjust the individual mode. So let's press it and... Uh, here is where you would actually adjust it. So you adjust the chassis, steering, uh, light assist, air conditioning, ACC and drive. For example, with drive, let's put it to sport. And with chassis, let's also put it to sport, but we will keep the other things like this. So uh, you can adjust each mode actually. And uh, yeah, well, a lot of configurations are available. You also see the percentage of your battery on your left. Uh, let's move on here. The other button here is to control the air suspension. So this car has the air suspension. You can adjust the height of the car uh, with this. You will see this, that we have the few levels. This is level minus two. You have, levels, you have level minus one, level one, and level two off-road plus. Uh, so those are the options. I will put it back to the level sport minus one. And it's very easy to control it and now the car is doing its thing and you know raising the uh, ground clearance. So that's pretty much it when we talk about this section here. Let me also show you the armrest and inside huge amount of space you have a classic USB port and nice LED light as well as the carpeting. And the glove box has also the carpeting and the SD card and SIM card inserts. And it is now time to talk about this impressive infotainment system uh, with 15 inch screen. Uh, you have the home menu here, but if you press it here, you have another home menu. And also there is uh, additional menu button uh, here and you access all the functions here. So for example, radio, you have the list of stations in here and this is all pretty responsive 
you go back to the menu by pressing this phone and app connect so you can pair your phone with either apple carplay or android auto as well as the bluetooth and the media you can of course uh, you know, put the sd card and then play your favorite music that way vehicle settings so here you have a bunch of selections uh, this is the uh, settings of the car so the oil level vehicle status and tire pressure if you press this selection you can have the off-road display look at this you have the incline and you also have the information about off-road and stuff like that so quite cool driving data so here is where you have the efficiency data and uh, refueling stuff like that of course don't look at those numbers as this car has not been driven yet so this is just you know been stationary and driven inside the you know the dealership itself and the vehicle status that's what we started with so a bunch of information about your car so let's go back to the menu sound this car does have the optional uh, dyne audio sound system with the subwoofer at the back uh, which you already saw and uh, yeah you can adjust the different uh, you know uh, settings for the music we can also have the touchscreen tone it's quite nice i will keep it on images you can have images inside your vehicle if you like that settings uh, here so you would just a bunch of uh, you know settings such as the language and stuff like that i'm not gonna go through that right now the app connect so once again apple carplay and android auto uh, but you see that here we also have some shortcuts and let's go back to the car settings because you have additional settings here here is where you could deactivate the ecc but i would not do that tires personalization lights so you uh, adjust all the stuff here if you go to driver assist systems you can adjust them here so this car has a bunch of safety systems we have the adaptive cruise control front assist emergency assist lane assist side assist and as you can see eco assist driver alert system proactive occupant protection system and for example if you press this uh, you can turn it on or off but i would suggest keeping them all on for your own safety and uh, let's go here so background lighting so those are the ambient lights and you know i'm a huge fan of the ambient lighting uh, so let's see if they are adjusted to maximum yes they are and you change the color here so for example green would get you this in green this element here look how cool they are at the back as well and also on our left as well so this line here but also this line underneath this gloss black part and notice how we also change the layout of the infotainment system uh, so look at this now the main theme is green let's change it back and see the options of the colors so background lighting we put it to blue you saw that when we entered the car actually and you see that uh, when you are not uh, near the screen you don't have you have more of a minimalistic view let's call it like that as soon as you approach it you have uh, this more info let's call it like that so this is the red color tell me in your comments what are your thoughts but yeah once again i am a big fan of the ambient lights you also have this a light blue so yeah you get the point it is nice uh, we don't have the preset uh, menus for the lights like on for example golf 8 but uh, there are many colors available so you'll have no problems with that of course if you don't like it you can turn it off but i am a big fan of that so i'm not gonna do that and uh, the instrument cluster can be uh, also changed so uh, you have a bunch of views here and you can change uh, what you have on your left so for example range and then you would get this inside and on this right side let's put the compass there we go you can also save the views so you can have the view one uh, view two and view three 
and then memorize those settings and then just press view 2 for example is minimalistic view let's say it like that for road trips three would be for example sport and one would be standard so that would be my configuration for example and that's pretty much it so those were the uh, settings for the uh, digital cockpit i will also show you the different views in a moment uh, but yeah so uh, let's go back to the settings for the car so this was the instrument cluster and that's pretty much it you also have some service information here so oil change in 15,000 kilometers all right that's pretty much it but now i also need to mention of course one of the most important things actually the ac well you can do it here so you adjust the temperature by pressing this you notice that whatever we did whichever menu we were in you always had this track here and here is where you have uh, the uh, heated and cooled seats option and uh, also the temperature as well as the uh, air blower and speaking about the air blower so you need to press uh, this and then you change the air blower the other feature is uh, the other way actually is to do this and then you have the uh, three different settings so low medium and high and of course the air blower is then you know uh, changed but uh, i think this could have been easier to use uh, so for example you know you're driving and you want to change the ac you need to either press this and put the out of function or you adjust it manually here so not so sure about that tell me in the comments what are your thoughts on this would you also like to see the buttons for the ac or you prefer it this way this car also has the air care uh, so what it is is the function designed to as you see make optimal use of the air filter in the passenger compartment activating this function removes the fine dust and pollen from the air inside the vehicle so we will put that on and that's pretty much it so those were the settings for the ac you also have the cooling of the seats and you can immediately feel it as well as the heating of the seats and that's pretty much it tell me in the comments what are your thoughts on this infotainment system uh, once again i think it's really nice it will look impressive during the night as well uh, what i would love to see is uh, maybe a bit easier way to control the ac but it is what it is now moving on to this digital cockpit that has different views so you need to press this view button and now you change the views you can also of course configure the things that you have here in front of you so i will put the map uh, this is the most beautiful view uh, i mean the view with the map inside and probably this uh, classic dials are very cool but of course if you want to change it uh, you can have whatever you want here in front of you and uh, yeah well uh, as i already told you you can configure the things that you have in this section on the main screen and the car settings we also have this um, panels here which are well uh, for the first time not the easiest uh, ones and uh, you will need some time to adjust to them you have the heated steering wheel you just press this three modes of the heating uh, here is where you would change the track and you change the volume here and you can actually slide it this is the adaptive cruise control and these are the voice commands lower the temperature you cannot operate the air conditioning functions by voice control please use the screen okay so we can't operate uh, the ac with voice commands we need to use the screen as the car already told us right now uh, so yeah you will need to you know do this by hand so uh, that's pretty much it now i showed you uh, the views here i showed you the options uh, in the middle you can have the vehicle status off-road let's put it to off-road now you have the inclines and stuff like that quite cool indeed you also adjust the assist systems here as well uh, now it is time to show you also the sun visors 
you have the LED lights here, the sun visor for the passenger. And this car also has the sunroof. So when you press this, then this goes away. But by doing this, you open the sunroof. So quite cool. And it is time to check out the situation at the rear bench. Uh, so look at this nice pattern and nice ambient lights. Let's step inside. Before that, actually with this, you can uh, change the incline of the seats and of course fold them down. But without further ado, let's step inside and you can really uh, relax here. Just look at the amount of space that I have on one meter 87. The seat is adjusted for my comfortable driving position and you really can't complain. Three adults will drive here at the back without any problems. Uh, we also have this net for some uh, things. Here is where you would adjust the AC. I have the air blower as well as the uh, temperature. And uh, in the middle we have the armrest with cup holders, nice leather one. Can really relax and let me show you how much space i have for my head and this is the situation for my head so still plenty of room here have in mind that we have the sunroof that usually means a bit less room compared to the version without the sunroof but then again i am 1 meter 87 and i am still very comfortable in here time to check out the engine so we know that this car has a plug-in hybrid it's got a combination of a v6 petrol engine and we have nice hydraulic struts um, so yeah as you can see v6 tsi so petrol engine v6 combined with electric motor and of course the battery and total output is 462 horsepower so really really impressive machine tell me in the comments what are your thoughts and would you go for a plug-in hybrid and that's it guys so now i've removed the spec list so that you can see the car more clearly uh, tell me in the comments what are your thoughts and before we end let's just go and see those specs here so uh, this is the power of only the petrol engine but as i said 462 uh, is the combined power this is this special color secura beige metallic and we have the sole black interior these are all the options so 22 inch history wheels uh, tinted windows easy open package and stuff like that also the dyne audio uh, sound system as well as the air suspension this is the price of course have in mind that you can get the government funds for plug-in hybrids so this could be a bit lower uh, than the price that you see here and well yeah that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching do subscribe to the channel in order to see more car reviews and see you on the next video bye bye